back to another lesson in Swift for Beginners. In the last lesson, we went over styling and naming conventions, and in today's lesson, we're going to be going over some more code. Specifically, we're going to be jumping into the ternary operator and talking about the return statement. So let's start by getting rid of the stuff. And let's con we're going to start with uh, the ternary operator and then talk about the return statement. And uh, yeah, we've used a return statement before, but we're going to discuss it a little bit more. So first and foremost, what the heck is a ternary operator? So a ternary operator is a bit more of a shorthand way to do an if-else statement. So if you recall, well, let's actually start by writing a function. Is bigger than... 5 I'll say it has a number and it's going to it's going to take a a return a bool and say if number is greater than 5 we're going to return true else we're going to return whoops else we're going to return false and let's just put a return false on here as a default case so this example actually discusses uh, ternary and return statements. So maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll do both. So here what we're doing is we're using an if-else condition to return either true or false, right? If you were to write this in a more shorthand way, let's say on one line, how could you do it? We can say let results equal number greater than 5. So if the number is greater than 5, it's true, otherwise it's false, right? And then we could do here is we can say return results. So this is a very similar way of saying an if-else. So all you're doing is you're, instead of having new lines and curly braces, you're using this question mark and this colon. So basically, you're saying if this number is greater than 5, the return result here is going to be equal to this true. Otherwise, it'll be equal to this false. Now, let's take this one more step further, and that'll actually transition us nicely into talking about the return statement. What if we just did this? Why even have a result? Notice we took our code that was about five lines, and now it's one line. So now what we're saying is return either true or false conditionally on if res this number is greater than 5. If it's greater than 5, return a true, otherwise return a false. But what is this return doing? So moving on from ternary to this return statement, this return statement is basically just saying that this function um, here, this function is saying that it wants a bool back. So this return statement is saying, here you go, here's that bool, either true or false. It wants something back that's of type bool. Um, that's all a return statement really is. It is the thing that hands back a particular variable or value of a given type that is expected or asked for. That's what this keyword return does. So I know we've used return quite a bit, and maybe I should have uh, explained this a little earlier on, but I figured um, seeing, in it, seeing it in examples would help explain it clearer than any other way that I could explain it. So. So a ternary operator, uh, to go back to that, is your condition, followed by the question mark. And this is the this is not to be confused with an optional. This has nothing to do with an optional, even though question marks are also used in optional notation. If this condition uh, turns out to be true, if this condition matches whatever you're checking here, do this thing. Otherwise, do this thing. And in this case, we just want to we want to say there is true or false, and we want to return. So we want to return the result of the statement, which is going to be one of those. So let's see one more example, and we'll end the lesson there. So let's do func. Um, I don't know random number, and it's not going to be random in our case. We're just going to hard code it. But I want to show you the show you the difference uh, of using like an int instead of a true or false. So let's say if we generated a random number, let's say var x is 5, we can say return if x is greater than 3, we want to return 
sorry, we want to return 12, otherwise we want to return 2. So notice I myself made a little mistake. We already have this return statement here. This is just yelling at us that var, is, we're saying var x, but we don't actually change the x, so we can make this a let. Um, that's why the line got highlighted in yellow. But basically, this is very similar to the one above that we have. We're saying return um, either this number or this number based on this condition. Um, I also want you to understand that even though that we are combining returns and ternaries, it doesn't have to combine, right? We can simply use a ternary uh, on its own and get the result out of it. And a ternary doesn't necessarily have to presu uh, pre uh, create a result either. You, we're making an, uh, an assumption, we're presuming that it has a result, uh, but it doesn't have to. This could be like if this condition were to hold up, call one function, otherwise call another function. This is very, very similar, if not identical, to an if-else and its functionality, but just much more shorthanded and more concise, um, which is kind of a more swifty way to do things. But that's basically the notion behind a return statement and a ternary operator, so I'm going to end the lesson right there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment, like the video, follow, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.